What is up guys, it's Swammer here, back again with some more Alter League action. Uh, today I'm going to be trying out a slightly different team. I'm uh, going to be swapping in uh, Charizard for Swampert. Uh, basically swapping in Charizard gives you an even stronger Registeel counter in the back, uh, and is perhaps a slightly less predictable pick. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into the battles. Uh, so this is a really natural uh, swap. Um, a lot of people have done it. Zionic's done it. Um, I was already thinking about doing it before I would even seen it. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, here we catch an Obstagoon on the lead. Um, this is just okay. Um, they We are going to be forcing them to shield likely with um, Moonblast. Uh, but if they want to take this to the sh to shield, I don't think that we can uh, win this matchup. So we're just going to be trying to get shields out of them. And if we win switch advantage, great. And if not, uh, we'll just have to go with that. So connect with the first Moonblast. That's pretty good for us. Uh, their attack rises sharply here, so they get the boost. This is not great for us. We're going to have to shield our Cresselia because we want to make sure that we get this Moonblast through. Um, really important for us to uh, get rid of this Obstagoon now. So we're going to go into Charizard, um, really hoping to uh, pressure this Obstagoon. Able, going to shield this uh, Night Slash since it is boosted. And then I make a judgment call here. I think that I can fire spin it down before he gets another one. I definitely should have gone for a Dragon Claw there. I had two of them, so uh, definitely would have been better off to go for that Dragon Claw. Um, but we are able to get them to swap out. We don't actually take out the Obstagoon. Uh, they bring in a Cresselia, and we're just going to go double Blast Burn. Uh, so this is going to get a shield and uh, do a, quite a lot of damage. So got the Cresselia to about half health, uh, but we're not in a great spot here. Um, we don't have any shields. Uh, our own Cresselia is not going to be able to um, get to a Moonblast before taking one from this Cresselia, and we get the debuff, so we're going to go ahead and swap right into Obstacoon. Um, they had actually built up a lot of extra energy, so they have another Moonblast ready already. Uh, going to go for a Night Slash now. Uh, really need to take out this Cresselia, but it's not going to be enough damage, I don't think. Uh, they actually swap into Obstacoon, which is good for us, because it uh, means that uh, it goes down to one counter. And then they've got a Dragon Breath Giratin on the back. So this is GG. Uh, not going to be able to do enough damage to this um, Giratina. Uh, if it was Shadow Claw, maybe there would have been a chance. But um, Dragon Breath, or sorry, yeah, Dragon Breath, there's really no chance. Uh, going to just barely not be able to get to the Moonblast. But uh, yeah, so uh, tough first game there. Um, Obstagoon getting the boost was a problem, and then I made a bad judgment call with Charizard, uh, trying to farm down all the way with Firespin, but that's one of the things with uh, using a new Pokemon that you just have to work through. So here we catch a terrific lead with a Poliwrath, uh, and we're just going to go ahead, farm, they swap into Registeel, uh, and we are going to bring in our Charizard. So uh, they're getting off a Flash Cannon here, totally fine, not going to do very much damage. Uh, and then we are going to over farm just a little bit and then go for the blast burn. I uh, don't really care if I get a shield or the damage. We do get the damage and one more fire spin is going to take it out. So that's pretty good for us. Uh, Polyrath is coming back in. So um, at this point Charizard has done its job. So we're not going to shield it. We're just going to be happy to get off as much damage as we can. Going for the blast burn. Uh, actually does slightly more damage. Um than a Dragon Claw, and I don't think I'd be able to get to a second Dragon Claw anyways. Uh, so again, not going to shield this. Happy to let um, Charizard go down. Going to come in and Moonblast right away on this Polyrath. This is either going to take it out or force the shield. And we do force a shield. Uh, so they swap. We're just going to blind swap, and it is a Grand Bull in the back, so that is not good for us. Just going to be going for Night Slashes here to do as much uh, ship damage as we can, because we wouldn't even make it to a gunk shot. Uh, so Granville takes us out. Uh, however, I think that we're going to be able to uh, manage this with Cresselia, because we have two shields. So we're going to be able to shield uh, a Crunch here, and we're going to get to a Moonblast. Uh, and they still have quite a bit of residual energy. 
Um, but we're going to be able to get to another moon blast before they can get to two more crunches. So another crunch is going to come through here. Going to shield that. Uh, really hoping that they don't um, swap. Uh, their switch timer was almost up. They're very, very close, uh, but able to get that moon blast off before they can swap out. Uh, and now with Polyrath coming back in, this should be no problem at all. So, uh, Moonblast is going to connect with Polyrath here. That's going to take it out, uh, and that'll be a GG. So, um, having that Granbull in the back was definitely a problem for Obstacoon, but uh, it made it really easy to decide, okay, I need to save both my shields for this Cresselia, uh, because that's the Pokemon that's going to win me a match. Alright, so this next match, we come up against a Melmetal on the lead. So, this is not great for us. We uh, are going to lose this, uh, likely. They're getting to a Rock Slide here, uh, but if we can get the debuff on a Moonblast, we have a better chance of flipping this matchup. So, um, going for a Moonblast here, and we do in fact get the debuff. So that's pretty good for us. Uh, they're building up a lot of energy, so I'm expecting that what they're actually doing here is building up to 100 energy, and then they're going to uh, swap out and save that energy for later. So we're getting to another Moonblast, and we get a second debuff, so they're definitely going to swap out. Uh, and they bring in Obstagoon, and I don't really have a great answer for Obstagoon, so I'm just going to stay in a little bit with uh, Cresselia, go for that uh, Moonblast. Um, not going to shield, I need to save my shields for that... Um, Melmetal in the back, uh, because it has so much loaded energy. I'm going to go for another Moonblast to force a shield from this Obstacoon. We do get a shield, and now we're going to go ahead and... Uh, oh, we actually got the debuff as well, so they're going to drop another Night Slash, uh, and then we're going to swap out into Charizard. Uh, and so they got debuffed, so I don't need to shield this Night Slash at all, and I still need to save those shields for Melmetal. Um, and then they're actually going to bring in their male metal. I'm going to have to shield twice here. He's got two rock slides for sure. Uh, and we definitely can't tank a rock slide. So um, have to burn both shields. But we should be able to uh, take this male metal out. And then so here I'm pressing the dragon claw. Pressing the dra dragon claw. About two seconds passes with Charizard doing nothing. And he gets another rock slide. So that's really unfortunate. Uh, I definitely would have been able to take out that Mel Metal without taking another charge move. Uh, so it's really frustrating uh, to have that happen, uh, because that is almost certainly going to cost me a ga the game, especially because, as we see, they've got a Meganium in the back. So uh, having that uh, health and energy on Charizard would have been uh, really good for that Meganium. Uh, and we don't really have a way to come back now at this point. So. Um, tried to catch a charge move on my Cresselia, however they uh, thought exactly the same thing and swapped at the same time. Um, so they were able to farm down the Cresselia. Um, we come in against their Obstacoon, but they, they used their shield and now they're just going to wrap this up. So very frustrating game there. I definitely think that I would have won if the game hadn't lagged out. Um, and so I didn't really have any good sets with uh, Charizard today, and some of it was my fault, but I had a lot of problems like that, where well, the game lags for two seconds, and now I've lost. So, pretty frustrating, uh, but that does happen. Uh, so, Charizard on the lead here, uh, gonna be going for Moonblast, or sorry, going to be going for Future Sight, um, because Moonblast would be resisted. Uh, they go for, um, a Blast Burn, and Charizard... Since it's so common for Cresselia to use Moonblast first, almost nobody shields the first um, uh, charge move if it's if they're going to resist the Moonblast. So able to get that Future Sight through, then they go ahead and shield the uh, Moonblast, which is pretty good for us. Not going to shield myself. Um, if it's a Blast Burn, it'll take me out, but that's fine. It actually ends up being just a Dragon Claw. Even this next Dragon Claw is not going to take me out. Uh, and then we are going to actually be able to almost farm them down. Uh, however, we are happy to take this shield advantage. So uh, I'm going to come in with my own Charizard, get a small energy advantage on whatever they've got coming in. Uh, and it's going to be a Clefable. So 
This is pretty good, except that uh, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be the Charizard Clefable Togekiss lineup, uh, which is not great for me because that means Obstacoon in the back is going to be a liability. So I'm going to double shield my Charizard. Um, we are able to hit connect with the Blast Burn on this Clefable and get it very low. I'm going to uh, farm up a little bit more and then go for uh, a Dragon Claw, hoping to get that shield, uh, and then we're going to go for a Blast Burn right away. We do get the shield, so this is really good. That means the Blast Burn is going to connect here, uh, and that does a ton of damage. Able to get two more Fire Spins in, uh, and now they are just one counter away, and they actually surrender. Uh, so, a good match there. Uh, Charizard, really important uh, for that victory. Um, definitely would not have been able to manage that with just uh, Double Charmer. Definitely would not have been able to manage that one with Swampert. Uh, double Charmers in the back is really bad news for uh, anyone run, running an obstacle. So. Alright. Jumping into this next match, we have an Articuno, and I really hate Articuno. Uh, I think that Icy Wind um, is uh, far too strong. Um, when you compare its damage per energy with other similar moves that always debuff, it's way, way higher. Uh, so the debuff is really annoying to play around, uh, and it means that Articuno doesn't really have to make much in the way of difficult choices. So they actually swap out here into uh, their own Cresselia, and I make a mistake and drop the Moonblast myself. I was thinking uh, that I wanted to soften it up a little bit for um, Obstagoon, uh, but I definitely sh should have saved that energy for when I was not debuffed. Or at the very least, I should have built up more energy again. So I'm going to be going for the Night Slashes here. Um, they deal a decent amount of damage, but not a ton. Uh, gonna connect with another one here. Uh, and this Cressula is getting fairly low, and we actually get the boost there. Uh, so that's pretty good. Still not gonna shield this. Um, just going to try and get as much damage through as I can. Uh, and it is Articuno is coming back in, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, drop the Night Slash. Um, and since we're boosted, we are going to go ahead and shield uh, this Icy Wind. Um, we want to take as much, uh, take advantage of that boost as much as we can. Uh, so drop in another Night Slash here. We get the second shield, uh, and then we are just barely not going to be able to get to um, uh, another Night Slash, but they take us out with Icy Wind, but that's fine because Charizard can come in and farm down. Um, and then here I make a Judgment Call again. I should have gone for the Dragon Claw one turn earlier. Uh, I also didn't think that a Hydro Cannon would take me out from that range. Uh, it must have just barely had the damage. Uh, and then I make another mistake here and I go for the Future Sight. Going for Double Moonblast definitely would have been better because I was going to need to get to two charge moves anyways uh, to take out this uh, Swampert, and that would have saved me one uh, fast attack. So they go for the Earthquake, which is uh, actually pretty good for me. I think two Hydro Cannons would have been enough, but you can see I just got to the Moon Blast there. If I'd done two Moon Blasts, I would have been able to take out that uh, Swampert, uh, but instead I was not. So a um, couple mistakes there. Um, really needed to hit that Dragon Claw on the Swampert uh, earlier, and then if I had done that, going through the Future Sight was the right play. Uh, because it would have taken it out. However, given that I didn't need to go for two Moon Blasts, uh, so really just a few mistakes all around, and that was sort of um, my experience with Charizard. I didn't really have any clean sets where I thought like I, I felt like I played well. Uh, so I did drop some rating. Uh, only went two of five that set. I had a lot of sets where I was basically two of five. Um, but yeah, it's definitely an interesting team. Uh, certainly viable. Lots of people have had tons of success with it, so... Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.